It's the final few seconds before the lights go out and the race to the podium begins. You know this battle will be won off the track as well as on it. You've studied your tactics, anticipated every move like a grand master. You've researched and analyzed, modified and fine-tuned to perfection. You have honed your instincts to give you an edge over your rivals. Your drivers focused, your team ready. The championship in the balance. First past the checkered flag, the goal. Epic victory or ultimate failure. There is only a heartbeat between them. Motorsport manager, take control. All right. Hey, what's up, guys? And finally, I'm very happy to give you all a very, very warm welcome back to my first comeback video, really. My name's Spacefish. I haven't recorded a YouTube video for 15 bajillion years, it seems like. And uh, I've just been able. I'm really sorry for that, guys. I hope I will be able to uh, correct that little issue in the following video. Um... Yeah, I'm kind of, well, very much out of practice, as you guys can probably hear. I've uh, not been recording for, I think, two years now, mainly just because real life took over big time for me, and I really didn't have any time left to do YouTube videos, which I am really sorry for, guys, but I hope that now is the time to actually pick up recording some YouTube videos again. And we're starting right out with a totally new game to the channel, which is Motorsport Manager. Now, some of you guys may already know this game. It's been up for quite some time, and, uh, well... I have to say I really enjoyed it. It's just a game that I never really got to play too far just because I was always very limited on time and I'm looking to catch up on that. And um, the thing that you guys probably don't know about me yet is I'm a huge Formula One nerd and I just really, really love racing. I try and see as many races as I can and... Um, well, I really enjoy these kind of tycoon manager type of games, I have to say. And Motorsport Manager is just one of these games which is really, really interesting. Very, very fun, I have to say. And I hope you guys will enjoy it as much as I will. Now, um, as I've been away for quite some time, I've been thinking about how I'm going to change my way of recording my videos in the future. So I'm thinking I will probably try... And place a few cuts in there, here and there, just to make sure that stuff doesn't get too boring for you guys, that you really don't miss anything of the action, but that just the video length maybe gets uh, shrunk a little bit, while you guys on the other hand side um, do get some very good fun out of it as well. I'm really not sure as to how or what I'm going to do in that regard yet. But I'm definitely looking to do something, so we will definitely see within the next few videos. Maybe I'll start on this one, maybe I'll start a little later, but I do really want to improve my content some in that regard. Now, um, I'm really unsure about the whole recording Motorsport Manager as a whole. I may just ha record like two, three episodes as one and just place cuts in between so there may not always be a real transition between videos just because it is maybe a bit harder for me to estimate how much time I've spent recording for you guys already but we will see I'm going to try and do my best to actually avoid that kind of stuff but for the time being let's just um let's just start out as you guys can see I do already have a racing team but we are not going to do that. We're going to do a new career, most definitely, because I do want to start with you guys from the very scratch so you guys can just see what this game is all about if you have not seen it already. Now, session lengths is a good question. We're definitely not going to do the long ones, which is incredibly crazy. Then we have medium and short. Hmm. Well, 180 minutes. We're definitely not going to do that. Um, drill not sure if we're gonna pick medium or short um, we're not gonna start with tutorials here because I do think I remember most of the stuff hopefully fingers crossed uh, 
that I'm not going to totally forget everything about this game, because it's been quite a while since I've been playing it. Um, I think we're just going to start out by trying the medium, and if it does end up being too long, uh, we're going to cut it down. Obviously, I'm going to play, well, I'm going to try and play some cuts in between where it, stuff is not too interesting, and we're definitely going to speed up the game here and there as well. So we will just see how medium plays out and then determine if we're going to cut it down to short or not, because I do think that you can change that during the actual career itself. So let's hit continue here, have the game lock up for a second, and there we are. So my first name is Space, my surname is Fish. What a creative name, innit? Um... Date of birth. Let's select something totally random and sneaky. So you guys don't find out how old I am. Um, we are going to be from Germany, which is very much the truth. Um, X driver, right? So this is actually already going into the stats, right? So. Um, there is some base stats for my character. Former driver, I give some more driver feedback. If I'm an ex-engineer, I need a little less part design time, financial payments 5%, which is a really, really nice feat, honestly. Um, political insider... Voting power, I mean, honestly, this whole voting, like, the voting is can be advantageous, it can be totally unnecessary as well in this game, so I really don't, no, I'm, I'm really not too intrigued by that trait unknown as well. <laughs> Who doesn't want advantages, right? Um, so we'll have, I think like X engineer is really not my thing as well, and drive the feet in the back, like honestly, I really want the financial thing, because, uh, well, Money's always short in motorsports, and uh, obviously having more of it, or having to pay less of it, I should rather say, is pretty nice. Now, let's see. Um, well, I mean, this guy looks like he just came from vacation, which I don't, but I would love to go to vacation soon, so we'll just go this way and uh, act like I uh, actually have a bit of tan right now. Um hairstyle well let's just pick something really quick here and not drag it out too long i think this one's pretty all right um we are just going to whoa that guy's a real ginger uh damn okay let's not look like a total ginger i think something like this is pretty all right facial hair oh god like honestly i'm that's just, that's perfect. Let's keep it that way. No, definitely not. Um, we are just, I think we're literally just going to keep it that way, whatever. Um, glasses. Yeah, sure. No, let's keep it this way and hit continue. Now, team. This is a rather interesting one. Because either we can just take an existing team or can create our own team. Now, I have created my own team in the past. I've never uh, taken the reins of an existing team. But I'd like to keep it this way, honestly, guys. Like, I'm always very proud of running my own team and not just somebody else's. So, uh, we're going to do it this way. Obviously, as you guys can see, I don't have the expansions to the game just yet. There is a GT series and an endurance series as well. So, this is where the 180 minutes come from, obviously. So, uh, hopefully that doesn't mean 180 minutes real time. But we're actually going to be at a decent-ish uh, time level for each uh, race. Um, we're going to go with the single-seater series for now. Just... I mean, to me, it's the most awesome, well, no, it's not the most awesome. Every race series is very interesting to me, but I just grew up with Formula One. As I said, I'm a total Formula One nerd, and I just love Formula One. Um, we may, if this series becomes more popular, and you guys really enjoy it, and, well, I enjoy it as well, which is obviously an important factor. We may just move on to other series as well and get the expansions in the future, but for the time being we're going to start with single-seater series. Now obviously we're not going to start in Formula 1 right away. I think it's something like Formula 3-ish that you start, and then you 
just gradually work your way up. You guys will see that we're not going to be uh, finished with even one series within five minutes because it's actually quite a bit of work to work yourself up and to get to a good level, but that's what we're here for after all. So, let's start with a single series. Yeah, right, so you see tier 3, tier 2, tier 1, so I think, it, well, it's pretty much like Formula 3, Formula 2, Formula 1. I think at least that's somewhat the intent. So, um, 16 events at 16 locations, oh well. We're not going to start in tier 3 though, We uh, in tier 1 though, we are definitely going to start in tier 3, so we can work ourselves up some. So you see the differences here, right? Like, it just goes all the way up, you start with a V6, go for a V8, go for a V10. Um, the weight increases slightly, but you see kilometers now, 400 kilometers an hour is very insane. Um, Alright, well, that was a pretty unexpected interruption, and the first cut in my first YouTube video when coming back. So, as I said before, I think these 400 kilometers an hour are pretty fast for a Formula 1 kind of intended car, but hey, uh, that's supposedly the way it is. 0 to 100 in 1.7 seconds. Holy, that's fast. But what we're going to start out with is the V6 Tier 3 car with a top speed of 350 kilometers in 3.1 seconds, 0 to 100. I think that's pretty fine as well. So, um, the one thing here with part manufacturing is also pretty special. It's, uh, well, front and rear wings. This part manufacturing here, then you go up here, um, you've got engines. Oh, right. So, um, basically the way that this works, I think this is what you can't build for your car. So that's like kind of wings are already predefined. Um, then you move up uh, a class and well, the engines are predefined. And then for tier one, there's like literally no restrictions at all. That's kind of the way it is, I think. So we're going to start out <clears throat> in tier three without any further ado. I don't want to drag this out too much. And here's our car. Cool. So, right, this is going to be the design phase for our car. So, obviously, we are going to give the team the name Space Fish Racing, as my other team is called, because I'm super creative, as all of you guys uh, probably know by now. But this is the way we're going to start out. We are going... We're going to just make it a German team as well. Um, that's pretty much it for here. Then we're going to give it a nicer logo. Does the logo go anywhere on the car? It does apparently not. But it does go down here. Um, hmm. These look kind of like... Huh. Right. That's not too bad. That's kind of, like, this kind of reminds me of a logo in Kerbal Space Program, like some NASA flag or whatever. Well, at least some, like, Space Program style flag. I think this one's pretty neat, actually. Um, secondary color. Well, honestly, I don't want to make it too crazy, I don't think. Well... Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. choices, choices, too many choices. I think we're just going to keep this a nice, nearly white color. And um, for this one, now I know my other team has green, which I really like the look of, I have to say, but I don't want to keep it that way. We're just going to do like a bright yellow, I think. Something... Something like that. That's pretty decent. Um, cool, that's the way it's going to be. Then, team uniform. I think we are going to... Oh, God. Can I just copy the code over? Let's see if that works. Um, cool. Is that too much? Hmm... Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, I don't know. We're just going to keep it that way. Um, shirt style. Ah, uh, wow. So much. I think that's... Is that alright? Yeah, we're just going to go with that one. 
Let's do it like that. Um, car livery. Now, this one is pretty interesting. I think I always had, like, one or two favorites, pretty much. Oh, this is going to be hard. Right, let's just make the primary color... No, let's not make the primary color yellow. I do like some deep black. And then the secondary color. I, I think the secondary color, we could probably make something like that. Where's, where's my tertiary color at? Um, no. And this one? Oh, this is all... Mm, 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 mm. Okay. <laughs> Not too happy with that one yet. Maybe we'll just do it like that. Oh, well, we can. Maybe just test some liveries first. It's probably a good idea. I really kind of just want to make the yellow a secondary thing. Maybe not seeing this livery. Um, nope. Nope. Uh, not too bad. Nope. So, let's see the first ones as well. Well, this one would make it more of a secondary thing, right? That would be an option. But I think it's either this one here, or it's the 8. And the 8 does look very good as well. Where's my tertiary? Oh. Let's try. A grayish. Something like that. And a tertiary yellow? Hmm. That's kind of not enough yellow, is it? I think we should have some decently yellow elements in there. Um, I do like the deep black. Let's see how it looks. No, I think the grey elements are pretty nice to have as well. Right, and there was another cut, and we're back. That's uh, quite a few cuts for the first video already right there. So, um... Let's move along a little quicker with this one. I'm really, I'm sorry guys, I'm kind of tending to drag things out sometimes. What I don't like too much is this, hmm. I think we're gonna go with this livery. Just cause I really like it a bit more. Now what I'm still trying to find out. Oh. That may actually be pretty nice. Is that the, yeah, that's the same color. I think this one is pretty neat. That's a little bit of yellow. It's not enough black, to be honest. Hmm, is this a trim color up there? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's do trim color black. A little grey there and a little yellow there. Or we do trim colour yellow. And then, ooh. I think this is a nice combination, isn't it? I mean, like, what I don't like is the whole wing being yellow. But, like, other than that, I think the whole combination of yellow and dark rain black is pretty neat. Let's just keep it this way. Um, light sponsor, dark sponsor, alright. Um... Honestly, oh, that's just making it too crazy. I think we're just going to keep that white and blank. I think that's pretty fine. And, um, right, there is livery. Oh, did I? Where do I have these livery packs from? Interesting stuff. I don't know, to be honest. Um, but, like, those, well, those are pretty weird, but... I don't know. We're just gonna stick... Oh, God. Did I just... It was the five. Was it the five? It was the five. Right. We're just gonna stick with this and head on. I finished editing my new team. Now, this one's pretty um, important as well as the investment offers. So, these banks are interested in funding a brand new motorsport team and they will support me. Now, I've got three options. Um, they all have different feats. Um... Obviously, the financial package is a big part, small, medium, large, pretty straightforward, but that kind of, 
well, changes the pressure I'm under as well as to how good I need to be uh, perform. So this bank will even give me a pre-built test track, which is pretty nice and gives me some nice development. But my pressure is going to be high as well, so I'm not actually sure I want to take that. Um, with this one, I got a three-star chassis in the first season. Which I'm honestly not too sure how good that is. I don't remember to be honest. And this one is team marketability. So this one gives me more overall income in the first place, I think. Or maybe... I think we're literally just going to go with the medium offer. Because I don't want to have it too easy. Well, too easy as in the pressure that's on me. But on the other hand side, that would obviously leave me with a very, very low budget for actually uh, doing things. So, I don't know. I wouldn't be too happy with that, so we're just going to go with a medium offer, and I'll see you guys right after the loading screen. Cool, and we're back. So this is our starting screen. Now we're starting out with a balance of 10 million euros, which is not too bad, but an income of minus 1.3 million. So there is, um, I think in this game there's pretty much two different possibilities. Um, the one is you do your own team, you get a budget at the start, and well, you don't get any more money um, over time from your sponsors, I think. Well, n from your sponsors, yes, but not from the bank. Um, and you kind of got to end up at least at zero at the end of the season before you get more money. Um, the other option is you just, well, join a specific team and get a continuous uh, amount of money each month, I think. So this number would be smaller, but you wouldn't have the 10 million at the start. Right, so... These are our drivers, A. Gomez and F. Anthony, third, what is he, third in the racing series right now? I'm honestly not sure, Um, we'll see. So our drivers are apparently pretty decent, our car, our headquarters staff, sponsors, pit crew are just bad. So this is what's the average on grid, right, so like that's about the cars, that's about the drivers, and we're pretty much worse than everybody else in all the points. Well, at least in the average, there is going to be teams that are worse in some points. There's going to be teams that are better in most points, probably. Um, so, tune car, improved parts, job security, right? So, this is the chairman's happiness. And, um, well, chairman is kind of depending on which bank I picked as well, I think. So, like, um, there's different, uh, well, place objectives, the places that I need to about get in the championship to make the bank happy and uh, well that kind of decides this stuff as well but there's other things playing into this and that just determines how secure my job actually is. Um, right, standings, all that stuff, we'll see about that later. We got player which is me, my own stats, um, which is interesting. Loyal team race match, but okay, cool. Um, I could apply for jobs, but I don't want to because this is my own team. And here's our mail. So let's start with this. Space. You didn't think you'd just be handed at the reins without any oversight, did you? Your investors have asked me to keep an eye on how things are progressing. I'll be acting as your chairman, and I have the powers to remove you from a job if things aren't, shall we say, going to plan. Cool. Not cool, but all right. Uh, getting things started, excited to be my assistant, immense pleasure, blah, 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 blah. So that's my assistant, hey, assistant. Then there's my chairman again. Okay, so this one is interesting because this is going to be my targets for the year. Um, this is team rank, right? I think there's like, is there 10 teams on the grid? There is, right? Okay, so there is 10 teams on the grid. We're currently in place 8, but that's just because there's zero points distributed so far. Um, well, who's that? Oh, my scout. So that's the guy that actually searches uh, people for me. Now, this one... Well, temporary staff and drivers. So we do need to search for new drivers. We do need to search for more staff. We do need to get sponsors. Well... Team needs to be built up completely from scratch, just as the guy says. Now, this one determines what kind of is our goal for the end of the season and how much money we get. And I think we're just going to start out with 10th and get the 13.84 million. 
and well just go from there because I just want to see what's kind of the benchmark I'm not confident I can hit the eighth place without me even knowing to the team so we're just going to start at that now introduction to the pit crew management pit crew job specific stats I know about that stuff but if you guys want to read through it just hit pause real quick if that's interesting to you um now here's our car we can design new parts, fit parts, improve parts, edit the livery, and here's kind of the stats of the car. As you can see, it is pretty bad. Now, as I said before, in tier 3, this is all locked, so we can't do new developments for that. But engine, gearbox, brakes, and our... Well, corner speed, which is uh, suspension, we can actually develop stuff for this now design new parts this is how much it actually costs us i'll go through the system with you guys in a second we'll just go through this menu real quick now this one's our well headquarters we've got a factory we've got a design center we can build new buildings as you guys can see there is tons of possibilities we can even build our own road car factory which is an awesome thing i really want that but uh well as you guys can see um there's quite a few things we can build i don't think i want to actually build anything now we can upgrade our buildings which is our factory and our design center for 8 million which is obviously a whole bunch of money considering we only have 24 million right we are going to pay 1.3 million each race right now without any sponsors so that is quite a lot of money and i don't think i do want to upgrade any of this right now we have part knowledge is good um well to a great you can see what kind of buildings we need to build so this kind of influences what kind of carts we can uh, parts we can build our uh, research or income just tons of stuff that you can influence with this but it obviously requires quite some investment it's not built instantly so it's not really an instant advantage i want to just spend my money elsewhere for the time being now i have my team uh i have my drivers i have my lead designer i have my race mechanics so uh these obviously impact quite a lot of stuff.